we have this big beaming sun up there, but we have so little to contribute. It doesn't make any sense. Convicted felons have been hired by a campaign trying to qualify a so-called clean energy plan for the Arizona ballot. I myself suffer from the air quality here. I get terrible allergies. I've known so many people have developed valley fever, can't even live here because they develop such bad respiratory problems. I am a Republican, yeah. yes. Hi, my name is Chris Mays, and I am an, a former Arizona Corporation Commissioner here in Arizona. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. I served four years in the United States Navy. I am an emergency room nurse working in three different major hospitals in the downtown Phoenix area. Every day I see patients come in with anywhere from mild to severe asthma attacks and respiratory problems. I'm involved in this this movement because I think it's important that, that we preserve the environment and the health of future generations here in Arizona. Tom Steyer, a California liberal activist who wants to impeach our president. It's really sad that APS it has become the only utility in America that is spending tens of millions of dollars to fight the will of their own ratepayers and to fight renewable energy. APS and other uh, energy pr providers are focused more on profit than, than the people. It's all due to corporations putting profit over people. I think it's a profit issue. I think APS is threatened by rooftop solar in particular. When people make the choice to produce their own energy, they're buying less energy from, from APS, from the utility and the utilities don't like that competition. So they've done everything that they possibly could in the last eight years to fight solar energy. And in particular, they're ramping it up in trying to fight this ballot initiative. So it's all about APS's profits and the utilities' profits. It's helpful to think of APS in this analogy as the lazy teenager. And you can think of- <laughs> The lazy teenager. Lazy teenager, follow me here. Okay and renewable energy is doing the dishes. Pretty much everyone agrees we need to take care of the dishes, but APS doesn't want to do it unless they get their allowance. If this ballot measure passes, and by 2030 we have 50% renewable energy in the state of Arizona, I hope I see less patients. I hope less patients come to the emergency department. I hope less families have to go through the fear of seeing a child in respiratory distress. We should protect their health and the environment that they have to live in um, for, for the rest of their lives.